Hi, I'm Tom Sullivan, and you may know me from television, radio, and a corporate host and MC here in the Atlanta area. About three years ago, I was looking to enhance my smile, get a complete smile makeover, gain more self-confidence on stage. Uh, so I did a lot of research, and I wanted to choose the best. And that's why I came to the general practice of Drs. Goldstein, Garber, and Salama. Why did I choose them? It's because, and I wrote it down, they're a world-renowned cosmetic reconstructive dental practice. And uh, that's a mouthful, but it means they're truly the best at what they do. And look at this smile. This is evidence right here. There's not a day that goes by they don't have someone come up to me and go, I love your smile. And over the past three years, a lot has changed for the best, for the better here at the practice. They're adding some new additions, some new procedures that can enhance the overall total health of you as a patient. Now, here in the lobby, you may not be able to see what goes on back there, but I thought, why not we go on a behind the scenes tour and I'll show you just how my beautiful smile came to be. You ready to go? Let's go. As you're walking the halls here uh, at Golson Garber Salama on your way to one of the many different treatment suites, you'll notice all the beautiful art pieces in the cases. And the doctors chose these pieces because of their beauty. The same care and love and beauty that goes into creating your new smile is represented in each of these beautiful pieces. And they're just spectacular. I love the way this one reflects the light. This is an iCat. Uh, Goldstein Garber Salama is one of only a few practices in the whole country that have their own iCat or CAT scan machine right in the practice. What does it do? I can't begin to tell you, but I do know it allows the doctors to create beautiful smiles like mine. Well, right now we really are deep inside the offices of Goldstein Garber Salama and I thought the first place I'd take you to is our in-house dental lab. Why is that so important? Not many practices even have an in-house lab, but here at Drs. Goldstein Garber Salama, their lab is beyond state-of-the-art. It's magnificent. And why is that so important to have an in-house lab? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, before we go there, let me introduce you to Dr. Goldstein. How are you, sir? Terrific. I'm feeling great. I love my smile. Your smile looks terrific. Let me just tell you that Dr. Goldstein is really one of the pioneer, the pioneer in terms of cosmetic dentistry. Is that right? Yes. You, so you really, you wrote the first textbook on it? First textbook and... Uh, it's in its third edition now, and also the first consumer book. Really? Change, change Your Smile book. So really? It was all over the world. Now. All over the world. And yeah. cosmetic dentistry, yeah. as you said, did not really start in Hollywood. It started right here in Atlanta. That's right. It, the modern aesthetic dentistry was right here. It wasn't in New York. It wasn't in there. And more books have come out of our office. Our specialist, uh, we've done so many books together, Dr. Garber and myself. Mm -hmm. So really, uh, the techniques. Bonding was first done here, mm -hmm. believe it or not. So we're still doing it, you know, 35, 40 years later. And this practice alone is 80 years old? 81 years. 81 years yeah. old. How about yeah. that? Yeah, my father started in 1929. And uh, at that point, it was the Great Depression. Right. But he made something special out of it. And he had a great eye for aesthetics. And I guess that's why, naturally, I came into aesthetic right. dentistry. Well, we are on our way to the uh, in-house dental lab. Oh, that's so, very it's important. a pleasure. I know you're very busy. Thanks, doctor. Great seeing you. Good seeing you, too. Thanks, Tom. Come on. This is the in-house dental lab here at Drs. Goldstein, Garber, Salama. In this room, some amazing equipment and also even more amazing equipment in here. One of the true advantages of having an in-house dental lab like they do here at this practice is it allows you, the patient, to work one-on-one -on -one with these guys, the ceramists. Instead of dealing with like things by mail, instantly on the spot you can have access to someone who's going to be creating your smile, whether it's from the tooth structure, the shading. You offer input one-on-one -on -one with a ceramist who, in the end, creates a smile like this and builds in confidence, and lots of love, and I love that. I don't know, this is where the magic happens. I don't know how they do it. I'm just glad they do. And I'm glad it's right here at Dr. Skolstein Garber Salama. And we've got a lot more to see. Come on. I heard Dr. Goldstein mention the practice was founded in 1929. That's a long time, a great history of working with dentists around the world. As you can see, some of the many covers of the magazines they've been featured on from around the world as the doctors lecture to dentists and teach what they know about dentistry to other dentists. So. It all starts here at Golson Garber Salama. Come on, we've got more to see. This is Dr. Garber. How are you, doctor? 
great to see you again. I'm very Thanks. excited about one of the latest additions to the practice, the Periolase, yes. which is a very healing laser. Tell me about this. Well, lasers, you know, everyone has this notion that lasers are a very easy way of cutting and a different way of cutting as opposed to blades or electrosurgery. This laser, like all the other lasers we've used, does cut, but it's got much more benefit. It really targets the bacteria that are responsible for causing periodontal disease. Those bacteria happen to be pigmented, dark colored, mm -hmm. and this laser is picked up by dark pigmented tissues. Um, they used to use an ophthalmology, so they could actually go through your cornea, which is clear, and pick up the retina, which was pigmented, mm -hmm. without damaging your cornea. It's an amazing thing. So we can go into the sulcus, access the bacteria that are responsible for causing this, and not do damage to the adjacent bacteria that are good bacteria. And the nice thing also is that it targets inflamed tissue because of the increased vascularity and the pigmented uh, cells in there. So okay. it really is quite different. So really kind of break it down in easy to understand terms. I ha let's say I had periodontal disease and yes. I had some bacteria deep down in there. You take this laser and you can target the, the, the inflammation way down deep without having Absolutely. to cut on me, without having to suture me. Absolutely. You can do it. Actually, you can put it down into the sulcus and you can see that this is really a very tiny flexible fiber. Wow. So you can yeah, put it down that. under the tissue, slide it down to where it needs to be, and then pulse it, and this is pulsed. So you give him two, you know, microseconds of a pulse. It's picked up by the bacteria, kills those bacteria. The adjacent inflamed tissue that you want to get rid of comes out. It then also precipitates healing in the bone. So you get a fibrinogen clot, which is the body's kind of natural glue. Anytime if I cut your knee, and you scrape it, there's always fibrin that grows across to heal it first and then your cells come over. So it's the body's first response, mm -hmm. first line of defense. So it's really quite a different approach as opposed to a knife. It's actually causing biostimulation and killing bacteria. And greater, greater comfort for the patient and overall Healed total people. health, Absolutely. leading to overall total health. I mean, you, you're not wandering around with, you know, 15, 18, 20 stitches in and, your mouth and that's really nice. And I think periodontal disease actually contributes to so many other different uh, illnesses in the body. We, we've seen now that you know we used to think this was just a localized infection but that localized infections are picked up by the rest of the body because remember your vascularity cycles all the way through mm -hmm. so we know that it is associated certainly with diabetes with heart issues and that's really you know with the baby boomer generation that's become a factor. You can also have it you know prenatal um, preterm birth weight babies, mm. they mm. low birth weight babies in young girls who are pregnant. Wow. So th these are all kinds of things we know are affected by periodontal disease. It's just part of general systemic infection. Well, just amazing that this right here can bring so much healing way down there and with very little pain. Okay, it's time for a pop quiz. You know the practice name is Goldstein Garber Salama, so match the name with the face. Goldstein? Ah, oh, no, Salama. Garber. They mixed it up. But it's really Goldstein, Garber, Salama. But yeah, well, I gotta tell him to fix that picture. I'm in one of the many dental suites here at Goldstein, Garber, Salama, and I, let me just add, this is really comfortable too. But I'm with my hygienist, Gail Hyman, who actually, you've been at the practice 25 years. 25 years, Tom. And what I love that, that you're doing here at the practice is not only we're talking about, you know, restorative dentistry, cosmetic dentistry, but you guys are getting into the overall health of the patient. And that's one thing you're doing is through the diagnosis uh, and treatment of sleep apnea. Absolutely. So what is sleep apnea? And how do I know if I have it? Sleep apnea is actually when your airway passages uh, relax so much mm -hmm. that you actually stop breathing while you're sleeping. One of the first signs of sleep apnea is snoring. Okay, I, I've been told I snore. You have. So, and then sometimes I've caught myself waking up, you know, gasping for air. Okay, when you gasp for air, that is um, an early sign of sleep apnea. And when you gasp for air, you're actually, your body's waking you up because it's not getting um, oxy oxygen to the brain. Mm -hmm. And w sometimes people report feeling tired upon uh, waking up. They don't feel refreshed and they feel excessively tired during the day. There are many uh, diseases that are associated uh, with sleep apnea. It includes hypertension, heart disease, 
stroke, mm -hmm. even diabetes and depression um, are risk from sleep apnea. So once we're here at Golson Garber Salama, we, we see you and then you give us a machine, we take it home, strap it on in the comfort of our own bed, not some sleep center where it's strange surroundings. And then we bring the machine back here, and then what happens at that point? Okay, well, the, uh, the report from sleeping, having a sleep study in your own home, is then sent off to a physician. Okay. And then when we find out that the person is truly experiencing sleep apnea, we have a dental appliance that is made right here, custom fit for your mouth, mm -hmm. that will keep the obstruction, the near airway passages open so you will not experience sleep apnea. And then the end result is I could almost do a 180 in the way I feel during the day, right? Our patients come back and say that they're not falling asleep um, at, while they're watching a TV show or going to a movie, that they are not tired in the car. They say that the quality of their life has greatly improved, even their moods. Oh, I love that so much. I'm, I'm excited about it, and you should be too. Hey, come on in here for a second. I'm like a kid in a candy store. This is the supply closet where all the stuff is. Look, toothbrushes, more toothbrushes, rotodent, the germ terminator. Oh, germs, look up, I'll, I'll be back. That's a bad Schwarzenegger impersonation. Look at this, mouthwash. I'll never have to go to the store again. Thanks, Goldstein Garber Salama. Doctors Goldstein Garber Salama, they've written many books on dentistry, and when they're not sharing their knowledge around the world with other dentists, they're teaching them right here in their very own in-house teaching facility. I'm with Dr. Salama right now, and Goldstein Garber Salama is incorporating, as I said, overall patient health into the practice, and one of the, the greatest wows of what you're incorporating is saliva health, right? Yeah, saliva right. testing. Saliva, saliva testing. testing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing, because most of the time people think of uh, you know, going to the doctor and getting blood taken from your arm or having to do a urine sample to be tested for things that are very dangerous and you need to know about. But actually in the dental office now today, we can actually harvest very important things from your saliva. And mm. we all have a lot of saliva. We do. And it's certainly easy to get. So we can actually take the saliva and send it to a company that will test the saliva some, for some very important things. Number one, Tom, for, for instance, a lot of people may or may not know that they're susceptible to periodontal disease. Well, there's a, a gene, a, a piece of DNA in our chain that tells us whether or not we're susceptible to the disease. So you can imagine as a younger person saying, hey, you know what, you're more susceptible than the next person, so you're going to probably want to come more often and do a better job cleaning your, your teeth. Right. That's a health issue because gum disease can cause heart and cardiovascular problems. Also, what we can do is we can detect what bacteria is in your mouth causing the problem and then they can test that bacteria for specific antibiotics that will kill that bacteria. So we can then put you on the appropriate medication if in fact you need it. Another thing that's been amazingly important and as an adjunct to saliva testing just recently released is that we can test for the HPV virus. That's a human papilloma virus. Mm -hmm. Big name, but very important because what happens, Tom, is a lot of people don't know how important this, this virus is because the human papillomavirus is a precursor to cervical cancer mm -hmm. and many oral cancers. So if you had it, well, right away what we'd be able to do is start to let people that you know have it, that, that, that you have it, because it is easily trans, uh, transferable. You can actually give it to somebody that you love. So we'd want to test those people, right. see whether or not they contacted it. And then we'd also like to involve, you know, your doctor, your physician, your ENT, and we then would also focus on oral cancer detection. And what we do from that test is if you are HPV positive, we do transillumination. What we can do is take a light and we focus it on something that looks abnormal in your mouth. And rather than just say, hey, you have something abnormal in your mouth, mm -hmm. we should check it from time to time. We can specify with transillumination whether or not there is peculiar growth mm -hmm. of cells in your mouth. Wow. So that light shines up in your mouth. It turns a, a bright color, fluoresces, and we say, wait a second, that's not normal tissue. Mm -hmm. Only the abnormal tissue will light up. So therefore, we would know early on. And one of the first signs of cancer in the body actually shows up in your mouth. So, you know, we're the first line of defense yeah. against a lot of very serious medical conditions. Wow, so it's so much more than just brushing and flossing. It really is. A lot more, a and lot you guys more. Are on the tip of the iceberg. With we're, we're, we're right on the edge. And, and in the future, as I said before, saliva testing is going to take on even more importance because how much easier is it to t get a test with saliva than it is with blood? So uh, as these tests start to come to fruition, and it's happening each year, we'll be able to even detect more things that may be very dangerous to, to, to us as, uh, as we get older, especially. It's fascinating.
it is really great, and uh, we're glad to be able to offer it to you. As uh, you I'm glad to around. receive it, too. Thanks, Doctor. Thanks, Tom. Wow, we've covered a lot today. I hope you've enjoyed your behind-the-scenes tour from cosmetic dentistry to overall patient health. It's all truly here at Goldstein Garber Salama. I'm Tom Sullivan, and I'll see you next time.